In our previous episode, we explored the transformative era of the early 19th century, focusing on John McAdam and his innovative approach to road construction. McAdam's revolutionary method, known as McAdamization, introduced a new way to build more durable and weather-resistant roads by using layers of small, crushed stones compacted together. This technique significantly improved transportation, facilitating smoother and more reliable travel across distances. It was a game-changer for commerce, societal interaction, and the overall infrastructure of the time, setting the stage for the next leaps in technological advancement. Transitioning to today's episode, we delve into another groundbreaking invention that further transformed communication and connectivity, the telegraph, introduced in 1837 by Samuel Morse. This innovation marked a pivotal shift from the physical movement of goods and people facilitated by improved roadways to the rapid transmission of information over vast distances. The telegraph utilized electrical signals to convey messages across a network of wires, effectively shrinking the world and laying the foundation for the global communication systems we rely on today. Samuel Morse, along with his co-inventors, not only developed the hardware necessary for the telegraph system but also created Morse code, a series of dots and dashes that encoded the alphabet and numbers, making it possible to send complex messages quickly and accurately. The introduction of the telegraph revolutionized how news, governmental orders, and personal messages were transmitted, moving from days or weeks to mere minutes. This leap in communication technology had profound implications for society, including accelerating the pace of business, changing the dynamics of warfare, and fostering a sense of a global community. Join us today as we explore the story of Samuel Morse and the Telegraph, understanding how this invention connected continents, reshaped communication, and paved the way for the interconnected world we live in today. Samuel Finley Breeze Morse was born into a preeminent family in Charlestown, Massachusetts, on April 27, 1791. His father, Jadidia Morse, was a well-respected pastor and considered the father of American geography for his pioneering work in the field. This intellectual and disciplined household provided Samuel with a strong foundation in religious and academic education, which would influence his diverse career pursuits. From a young age, Morse exhibited a keen interest in art and technology. His education at Yale College further nurtured these passions. At Yale, he attended lectures on electricity by prominent scientists like Benjamin Silliman and Jeremiah Day, which sowed the seeds of his later technological endeavors. Despite his burgeoning interest in invention, Morse pursued a career in art after graduating, moving to England in 1811 to study under renowned American artist Washington Alston. Morse's early career was marked by success in the art world. He gained recognition for his portrait paintings and was an avid participant in the cultural and artistic life of the United States upon his return. He married Lucretia Pickering Walker in 1818, who tragically died shortly after the birth of the third child, leaving Morse devastated. This personal tragedy was a turning point, prompting Morse to seek ways to improve long-distance communication, driven by the pain of not being with his wife during her final moments. In addition to his artistic achievements, Morse was deeply involved in the academic and political scenes, advocating for artists' rights and involvement in public projects. His role in founding the National Academy of Design in 1826 highlighted his commitment to the arts and education, establishing him as a leading figure in American cultural life. The journey to invent the telegraph was not a solitary endeavor for Samuel Morse, It was a period characterized by rich collaboration and the exchange of ideas within the burgeoning field of electrical science. In the early 1830s, Morse, initially inspired by the potential of electricity to transmit messages over long distances, began to conceptualize a device that could make this vision a reality. This era was ripe with discovery and invention, as scientists and inventors across the globe were beginning to unlock the secrets of electricity and magnetism. Morse's encounter with Charles Thomas Jackson, a prominent American physician and scientist, on a return voyage from Europe in 1832, was a pivotal moment. Jackson's discussions about electromagnetism further ignited Morse's interest in electrical communication, reinforcing his determination to develop a new system of long-distance communication. Central to the telegraph's invention was Morse's collaboration with Joseph Henry, 
an eminent scientist known for his work on electromagnetism. Henry's experiments with electromagnetic relays demonstrated the feasibility of transmitting electrical signals over extensive lengths of wire, a foundational principle upon which the telegraph would operate. This collaboration underscored the telegraph's development as a product of shared scientific advancements rather than the isolated effort of a single individual. By 1837, Morse had assembled the first prototype of his telegraph. This rudimentary device comprised a circuit of wires connected to an electromagnet, which activated a marker to make indentations on a paper tape. The marks represented the dots and dashes that Morse envisioned as the basis for a new alphabet, Morse code. This system was revolutionary, not only for its ability to encode the alphabet in a series of electrical signals but also for its simplicity and efficiency in bridging vast distances almost instantaneously. The development of Morse code was as much an act of linguistic innovation as it was a technological breakthrough. Morse, with the assistance of his colleague Alfred Vail, refined the code to represent the letters of the alphabet, numerals, and punctuation marks through a series of short and long signals, dots and dashes. This binary system was ingeniously designed to be simple yet capable of conveying complex messages with clarity and precision. One of the most significant challenges Morse and Vail faced was determining the most efficient representation of each letter and number to minimize the transmission time. They conducted frequency analyses of the English language to assign the simplest codes to the most commonly used letters, a decision that greatly enhanced the speed and efficiency of Morse code communication. The practicality of Morse code lay in its adaptability to various transmission methods, whether through electrical wires, visual signals, such as flashing lights, or sound. This versatility made it an invaluable tool in a variety of contexts, from maritime communication to wartime signaling, and, of course, the burgeoning telegraph network. The telegraph, coupled with Morse code, transformed the landscape of communication. What once took weeks could now be accomplished in minutes, heralding a new era of global interaction. This instantaneity was not just a technical marvel, it was a societal revolution, reshaping business, journalism, governance, and personal communication. The Telegraph's debut on the world stage came with its public demonstration in 1844, sending the message, What hath God wrought, from Washington DC, to Baltimore. This event not only showcased the Telegraph's potential but also symbolized the dawn of a new age where distance became a surmountable obstacle to the exchange of information. In essence, the development of the Telegraph and the creation of Morse code represented the culmination of years of experimentation, collaboration, and innovation. These inventions bridged distances, connected continents, and laid the groundwork for the interconnected world of today, marking Samuel Morse not just as an inventor but as a pioneer who envisioned a world bound together by the invisible threads of electric communication. The Telegraph's impact on commerce was transformative. For the first time in history, businesses could communicate with suppliers, customers, and partners in real time, regardless of distance. This capability revolutionized the way markets operated, introducing a level of dynamism previously unimaginable. Stock exchanges in major cities, for instance, were among the earliest adopters of the Telegraph, using it to exchange financial information instantaneously. This innovation led to the synchronization of prices across distant markets, fundamentally altering the nature of trading and investment. Furthermore, the telegraph enabled companies to manage operations over unprecedented distances, facilitating the expansion of businesses into national and eventually international markets. This capability was especially crucial for the burgeoning railway industry, which relied on precise scheduling and coordination to transport goods and passengers efficiently across vast territories. In journalism, the Telegraph ushered in the age of the Newswire, a service that provided newspapers with timely access to national and international news. This development dramatically changed the nature of news reporting, shifting from periodic, often outdated narratives to more immediate and dynamic coverage of events. The ability to report news with unprecedented speed not only increased the public's awareness of global happenings but also heightened the sense of a shared human experience, contributing to the formation of a more informed and engaged citizenry. 
Diplomacy and international relations were also profoundly affected by the advent of the telegraph. Diplomatic missions and governments could now exchange messages without the lengthy delays that had previously characterized international communication. This efficiency facilitated more responsive and flexible diplomatic engagements, allowing nations to negotiate treaties, resolve conflicts, and coordinate international efforts with a swiftness that had been previously impossible. The strategic military value of the telegraph became starkly apparent during the American Civil War. It became a critical tool for coordinating troop movements, delivering orders, and gathering intelligence. For the first time, commanders could conduct operations over large areas with real-time information. This capability not only changed the nature of warfare but also underscored the strategic importance of controlling telegraph lines, as they became vital assets in military campaigns. Perhaps most profoundly, the telegraph set the stage for a cascade of technological innovations that would eventually lead to the modern digital age. The invention of the telephone by Alexander Graham Bell was a direct extension of the principles behind the telegraph, aimed at transmitting the human voice over wires. This pursuit opened the door to further advancements in communication technology, including radio, television, and, ultimately, the internet and mobile telecommunications. Each of these innovations expanded on the telegraph's original promise of instant communication, contributing to the creation of a globally interconnected society. The telegraph's legacy is not just in the technology it introduced but in the paradigm shift it represented. By transforming communication from a slow, physical process to an instant, virtual one, the telegraph redefined human interaction, commerce, governance, and culture. It marked the beginning of the information age, where distance ceased to be a barrier to communication, fundamentally altering how societies operate and interact. This profound change set the groundwork for the interconnected, digital world we live in today, making the telegraph one of the most consequential inventions in human history. The success of the telegraph had a profound impact on Samuel Morse's life. He went from being a respected artist to one of the most celebrated inventors of the 19th century. Financially, the patents for the telegraph and Morse code provided Morse with considerable wealth, allowing him to live comfortably and continue his work in invention and innovation. However, Morse's journey was not without its challenges. He faced numerous legal battles over the patents and rights to the telegraph, reflecting the competitive nature of invention and the high stakes involved in controlling such a transformative technology. Despite these obstacles, Morse remained a prominent figure in the scientific community, receiving numerous awards and honors from around the world for his contributions to communication technology. The legacy of Samuel Morse and his invention extends far beyond his lifetime. The telegraph system he developed laid the foundations for the modern era of telecommunications, influencing countless aspects of social, economic, and political life. Morse's vision and perseverance in bringing his idea to fruition demonstrate the impact one individual can have on the world, changing the course of history through innovation and determination. Samuel Morse passed away on April 2, 1872, but his legacy lives on, not only in the technologies that trace their origins back to his invention but also in the globalized world that the telegraph helped to create, where information and communication flow freely across borders, connecting humanity in ways previously unimaginable. As we conclude our exploration of Samuel Morse and the telegraph, it's evident how this invention reshaped global communication, bridging distant lands and revolutionizing how information is shared. The Telegraph's legacy is a testament to innovation's power to transform society. Next, we turn our focus to 1831 and Cyrus McCormick's Mechanical Reaper, an invention that revolutionized agriculture. By dramatically improving the efficiency of the harvesting process, McCormick's Reaper boosted agricultural productivity and reshaped the American landscape. This story of innovation highlights the impact of technological advancements on farming and the broader implications for society and the economy. Join us as we delve into Cyrus McCormick's life, the development of the Mechanical Reaper, and its enduring legacy on agriculture and beyond, showcasing the transformative power of human ingenuity.